Hi! Welcome to AlgoCall tutorial. Much like AlgoCall, this walkthrough is powered by AI. Download. To download AlgoCall, simply head to algomage.com slash download and download AlgoCall for your Mac or PC. Please note, AlgoCall is currently available for Apple Silicon and Windows. Account registration. Post download. Make an AlgoCall account using your email ID or by connecting it to your Google or Facebook account. Adding a new project. To add a new project, click on Add Project and select the folder containing images that you want to call. AlgoCall works on popular RAW formats and JPEGs. Help Tour Once you add a project, you'll be greeted with a help tour to help you understand the screen you are on and what the various buttons do. At any screen, you can click on the Help Tour button on top right to restart the help tour. Filter and Sort By You can filter images or sort images using these buttons. Only the selected images will undergo the culling process. Start Culling Press Start Culling to start the process. Chose the genre of photography. Different genres have different culling logics built in. Select Preserve Ratings to prevent the AI from overriding any existing ratings. Click Next and adjust the following parameters to start rating process. Blur Threshold Increasing Blur Threshold will give higher ratings to sharper images. Grouping Strictness Increasing grouping strictness will cause only very similar images to be marked as a group. Another way to understand this is higher the grouping strictness and blur threshold, lesser the number of selected images. Shortlist from group, decide what percentage of a group you want to select. For example, 10% means 1 out of 10 images of a group will be selected. Closed eye detection, turning closed eye detection on will give higher ratings to images with open eyes. Please note that if the image has an important face, who is posed with head tilted down or if the subject is laughing hard, the AI will understand that those images have artistic value and will not penalize them for closed eyes. Click Next. Selecting Key Faces. Key faces are important people in the project. For weddings, it could be the bride and groom, for corporate events, it could be the CEO. Identifying key faces helps the AI to make different decisions for them compared to all other faces. To select a key face, click on Add Key Face. You can add photos of key faces from your device or can select them from the thumbnails of imported images. To add images from your device, click on Add from Device. To select from thumbnails of imported images, click on Select Key Face from Thumbnail. This will open the thumbnail view with a smiley icon on each image. Simply click on the image you want to select the thumbnail from. Select the desired level of zoom, Adjust the crop and hit crop key face. For best results, make sure the key face is front facing, sharp and well lit. Hit continue and set preferences to come back to the key face menu and repeat the process to select more key faces as needed. Once all key faces are selected, drag and place them on the weightage timeline to decide order of importance. Faces dropped on the right of timeline are most important and those placed to the left are less important. Once that is done, adjust blur, grouping and shortlist criteria for images with key face. Hit save. Review the rules for key faces and hit finish to start the culling process. The progress bar and time remaining bar indicate the approximate time AI will take for culling the images. You will also get an email once the culling finishes. We will now talk about how to interpret the readings. You will observe that all images now have certain readings attached to them. The best images in every group are rated 5 and the lowest rating is 1. The number on bottom left of every group denotes the number of similar looking images in that group. This is the grid view. To review in detail, double click on any cluster to get to the lightbox view. The lightbox view has three layers. The bottommost layer is of groups, the middle layer is an open view of every group, and the top layer is a large thumbnail of the selected image within the group. You can move in any layer using the forward and back arrow, you can move between the layers using up or down arrows. We'll take the example of this particular cluster, as you can see, it has three similar looking images based on the grouping strictness we selected. To move within this cluster, we press the up arrow and now we are in the middle layer. Here you can see the first image that is highlighted as a big thumbnail and the various scores associated with it. For example, eye score, emotion, sharpness, gaze, etc are mentioned on the top right. As we move within a group you can see the scores change. The rating of an image is decided on a weighted average of these scores. 
you can also observe the similar images in this section. Also, the facial expressions of subjects are highlighted right below. If any key faces are found in an image, a zoomed-in thumbnail of that exists right below. If you'd like to rate an image, while in the middle layer and with the image selected, press the desired number key to override the ratings. The AI learns every time you override ratings. To move to the next group, press the down arrow to come down to the bottom layer and press the forward arrow to move to the next group. If you want to change the rating of an entire group, press shift plus number key to assign the same rating to an entire group. You can press S anytime to open survey mode. This allows you to view all the images in a group at one go. You can override ratings in survey mode by selecting an image and pressing the number key of desired rating. Keep browsing through the groups and review or change ratings as needed. If you want to merge two or more groups with the first group highlighted, press shift, select multiple groups, and right-click to reveal the option to merge groups. If you feel the AI was off in rating a certain group, press the F button while that group is highlighted, it will open a feedback box. You can type in your feedback, it will send our AI team the group's thumbnails along with your comments to help us analyze the issue and make the AI better. Once you are happy with the ratings, press the Save Ratings button on the top panel to save all ratings. We suggest saving ratings frequently to avoid any loss of work done. Ratings are saved in an XMP file which is located right next to the raw image. XMP files are read by most popular softwares, so when you import your images in the editing software of your choice, you will see them with updated ratings. Once you are done going through all the images, if you'd like to move them, you can select your highest rated images, using filter option, and press Move Images button located on top right. Move Images operation moves the raw files as well as the XMP files. Start the move process by selecting a destination folder. While moving you can choose to overwrite duplicate images in the destination folder, if it has images of the same name, or chose to create unique names which will rename the raw files by adding an underscore copy to their name. Press the move button to move the raw files and the XMP files containing the ratings. That's it. You are done. Why does the AI select one image out of every group? Some of my groups have no images that are good. The AI is designed to pick a winner image out of every group. The AI can't decide if a group is a total discard because different photographers may have different styles of clicking and what is a complete reject group for one photographer may have at least one decent image for another. If you come across a group which according to you has no worthy image, you can simply discard the whole group by pressing shift plus the desired number key. The AI is giving me too many 5-star rated images. You can reduce the number of 5-star rated images by increasing culling strictness. The AI cannot decide how to pick between two categories for example a great decor shot versus an average group shot of people. At that point, the AI rates at least one winner out of every group. Once again, using shift plus number key helps you cull down the images quickly. Does the AI learn the more I cull? Absolutely. We track all rating overrides you make to help customize the AI for you. What is your suggested workflow? Our founder Anand is a multi-award winning photographer a Canon ambassador, and here is what his favorite workflow is. Start the culling process at night so that the AI can generate images overnight and all you have to do in the morning is review the ratings. In the light box view, move in the bottom most layer while quickly reviewing the ratings in the middle layer, this helps review faster. Always remember to keep saving ratings periodically. I have more questions, who can I get in touch with? You can write to us at hello at the ratealgomage.com for any queries, we'll be happy to arrange a walkthrough session for you. We're open to feedback or a warm conversation anytime.